Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. Um, Tony, in, in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how to set up a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for your website, but also show you how to automatically renew that SSL certificate, which actually happens to be minimal to no configuration on your part. And if you're familiar in the past, I did have a video showing you how to set up a job to automatically renew the SSL certificate every three months. Uh, but in newer versions of Let's Encrypt, or I should say new, newer versions of CertBot, which is the way we install the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, this happens automatically. This job is automatically created for you and that is a better solution. So let me show you how to do this and let me show you how to check to see if your existing SSL certificate is auto renew capable. So here we go. We have a website here called like, comment, subscribe club, and it is only being served over HTTP at this point. Now I have logged into this server via SSH. So the website that you're looking at is at var www html. Now that's that's beside the point. Um, this is an Nginx web server. That's important to know. I'm gonna assume that you have some type of SSH access to your web server, whether that's Nginx or Apache or something else. And this tutorial is gonna be specific for Nginx. If you are on another web server, you can come to certbot.eff.org slash instructions and get the specific instructions for whatever software you're working with. Okay, so I'll try to point out along the way where there's difference for you potentially, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and do an apt update. Uh, just to make sure we're looking at the latest versions of all the packages out there. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that, and then we can do an apt install snapd. Now snapd is the package manager that's going to allow us to install certbot, the, the modern version of certbot. It's the recommended way to install certbot rather than uh, apt or you know getting it through GitHub. So I recommend that you do that if you want the auto renew feature. And then after that, we can do a snap install core semicolon snap refresh core hit enter and that's just going to make sure uh, snap is ready to go for us and after that we can do a snap install dash dash classic certbot and that's going to go ahead and grab certbot for us and then finally, after that, we just have to make our symbolic link, uh, which is not always the case, but it's good good to try. So symbolic link from snap bin certbot to the user bin certbot executable. Okay, so that go ahead that went ahead and made that symbolic link. Uh, now, because I am on Nginx, like I said, I'm gonna issue the certificate with certbot dash dash nginx and if you're on apache or something else you'll have to look up those instructions i do know that apache would just be swapping this out for apache okay so let's do that uh the email address associated with the ssl is going to be tony teaches tech at gmail.com uh, do we agree to the terms and conditions a for agree and then do we want to sign up for the email list no thank you and now this is the domain name that we want to issue the HTTPS, or we want to issue the SSL certificate for, so that looks good. Um, that's going to go ahead and grab the certificate for us, install it, and verify that we actually do own that domain name. And it's always good practice to do the redirect in my opinion, so I'm going to do two and hit enter. That's going to redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Okay, so at this point you have your SSL certificate. Um, let's test that out if we go to the website again should redirect us and there we go so we have our ssl certificate it's valid it is um from let's encrypt there we go that was easy now the this s i should actually go back here and show you this this ssl certificate expires october 23rd today is july 25th so that's three months from now so the reason the whole point of this video is to if when it expires to make sure that it's gonna automatically get a new certificate for you that's gonna last another three months and then when that expires, same thing happens. So indefinitely you're gonna not need to come back in here and manually renew the SSL certificate. So in order to check that that's the case, it, and depending on what system you're running, this is Ubuntu, uh, there's one of two ways that I know of that this could happen. Um, you can check Crontab 
cron job dash l to see what your cron jobs look like and there there is no cron job on this case but that might not be the case for you you might have a cron job with a, a cert bot uh, uh, job in there uh, to renew the ssl certificate but more likely case for me is system ctl list timers so basically let's make this a little bit bigger uh, and minimize that so we can see what we're working with. This is a list of all timers on my system. And one of these is the Certbot timer. So this was installed during the process that we just went through, uh, the Certbot timer and the Certbot service. So where do these files live on our computer? Um, and we'll, we'll look into that, but I just wanna point out that in nine hours, this timer is going to go off. Okay, so let's 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 look under the hood and see what we're working with here. So I know that at etc system d system snap, and actually in here we can show you what's in here. So these are all of our uh, system files, and then if we type in snap star, uh, we'll do snap dot certbot renew star. Uh, we have the service and the timer that I just pointed out. So let's look at each one of those individually. Let's look at the timer first. And basically this timer executes every day. That's what these three stars mean. Every day at 1.37 in the morning and 20.54 in the evening. So twice a day it's gonna check, It's twice a day it's gonna call this service, which if you remember, that's what we're gonna look at next. So this is the timer, and then let's look at the service. What's actually gonna happen? So service. Those two times per day, we are gonna run whatever happens in exe start, which is running snap. It's gonna be this command, snap run. Uh, there's a timer argument and then certbot renew. So that is our renew logic twice a day to make sure that our SSL certificate never expires. So within what was that like a 12 hour 12 to 20 hour period we're every every day we're going to check to see that the cert bot is near expiration and if it is we're going to issue a new one automatically install that so you really never have to worry about it again guys if you have any questions about this let me know in the comments below check out some of my other videos on ssl certificates here subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future and if you do i will see you in the next one